you know, seeing seeing the guys training in San Jose State and then uh, going to Tennessee, uh, working out together, um, I was highly encouraged. Um, how do you feel about that? You know, it, it, yeah. It, and, he, and then you seen Kittle out there. So it's just like, OK, that's a good sign. Like he's not going to hold out. Like regardless of what happens, I don't think Kittle's going to hold out. He wouldn't be working out with the team if he was. Um, I think that it was a positive sign to see. How did you feel? You know, besides for the energy, the, the the injuries, how did you feel, you know, seeing all of the like it was like 13, 14 guys, you know, they all got together and traveled together yeah. in Tennessee to trade with uh, C.J. Beathard, who lives out there and George Kittle. How did you feel about that, bro? Right. Because everyone's thinking, like, is there going to be a Super Bowl hangover? And right. what the Super Bowl hangover usually is, it's like a prolonged <clears throat> depression followed by uh, blaming. Right. It's your fault. Mm. It's your fault. You know, with Balky and Harbaugh, that was evident. Um, and what you wonder is, are, is the team going to be as unified and uh, driven for success this year as it was last year? And when you see them all coming together in June, when they don't have to, right. after suffering the hardest loss of their lives, it's a good right. sign. Absolutely. And the fact that it got shut down prematurely because of COVID doesn't mean that they're all of a sudden pointing fingers and mad at each other. I think they are a very, very tight knit team in a way that I've never seen. I don't yeah. even think hardball teams really were that tight knit. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's organic. I think Harbaugh tried to like bring yeah. everyone together with his will, but <clears throat> these guys really do like each other. I mean, right. everyone, like you said, everyone loves Jimmy. Right. They because do. Quarterbacks, usually guys, quarterbacks make 27 million a year are like removed from the team. They're like part of the front office. They're CEOs. Yeah. Jimmy's not. He's one Jimmy, of the guys. I'll talk to back. Right. He's just one of the guys, man. And and one thing I like about it, it's not just the starters or the guys that's projected to have the most playing time. You got a guy like Chris Thompson out there, you know, training with the guys. And, you know, there, there was, hey, and there was a report that Chris Thompson is actually a pretty good receiver. I, I heard, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. fast yeah. as hell, bro. Did you go to Cal? Am I, yeah. um, I don't I think he went to Cal. I don't know. Anyway, I, he's fast. I think, yeah, he's fast right. as hell. Yeah, he's fast, bro. So, you know, I was encouraged by seeing, you know, guys that are pretty low on the totem pole that wasn't even on the 53 that was on the practice squad was out there and they're getting better with the guys, man. I, I was really uh, encouraged to see that, man. Yeah. Uh, and, and and even the new rookie quarterback, the undrafted guy, Brock Rutter, was out there training. Like, you, right. you, I, like yeah. when you lose that game, it's like, man, I can't even see you anymore. I can't even right. look at you. Every time I look at my teammates, I think of our failure, right? Right. right. So the fact that they're not right. at that level is good. It's really good. Yeah. 